when you're underwater, you can't have OCD or autism. You're so focused on the environment around you, your safety, and also the animals and stuff that you can't think about anything else. It kind of helps me overcome my, my challenges. Hi, my name is Connor, and my organization is the Microactivist. And the Microactivist is an organization that me and my family set up to educate kids and hopefully one day adults about problems and the environment and also the amazing animals and stuff that exists in our world. We're also teaching about like climate change, plastic pollution, and also what we can do to help. I encountered a monk seal in Kauai, and turns out they were endangered by plastic and overfishing and stuff, like throwing away fishing nets. Basically every animal in the ocean is endangered by that. So we went to a beach that was covered in plastic and waste and throwing away nets and stuff. I was very upset by the fact that it was just really ugly and disgusting. Every beach you go to, there's still plastic there usually. I was just like so upset by the fact that people are just ignoring the fact that we're overfishing our oceans. Ignoring the fact that great white sharks and basically all the species in the ocean are going extinct because of what we freaking eat. I have autism, for example, and in the natural world, animals and things only do things if it makes sense. Whereas people, they don't do things that make any sense at all. Like, they do some things that are just freaking weird. That's why I find the natural world so... It, it just basically... Everything has a reasoning. If we could all relate, and we all heard about this problem a lot more, I think that we'd all have a pretty big passion for it.